Hi, welcome to Funky Poms. So today I'm going to show you how to make a super simple pom-pom, super simple sphere pom-pom. So you can use this really for any design. I am going to be using this sort of light green yarn because I'm going to attempt to turn mine into an apple. So if you want to do that, if you want to turn it into something, think about the color yarn you're using to start with. Um, I'm going to be adding this to the top for some leaves and then I'm going to be tying it off with this kind of beigey brown colour as the stem and also as the hanging thread. So I'm going to start, I've already measured my wool out so I'm going to do 120 rounds and these ones you kind of want to make sure they're just nicely light lightly tucked around nothing you don't have to pull too hard and you want to make sure they're quite even so super simple just wrap it around but yeah one of the things that I do notice with this one when you're using your fingers it can kind of taper off down here where your fingers are a bit thinner so you just want to kind of make sure that doesn't happen too much Although also that will kind of be the bottom of your sphere. So for me, particularly when I'm going to be cutting an apple, it won't make too big of a difference. But just something to be aware of. I'm getting a little bit crazy here, but you want to make sure it's <laughs> kind of as neat as possible. Just going in like straight lines. You don't want to have it kind of crisscrossed all over, crisscrossed all over the place. Which sometimes when I get carried away, it does tend to happen, but... And so this one, I am doing it with, like I said, 120 rounds. Um, you can do it, like I have done ones in the past that were 60. So anywhere from 60 to in between, I would say is fine. Just if you want it a bit thicker, a bit denser, a bit fluffier, it could be a good idea to try it with a little bit more yarn. So this is what we end up with. And my next one, I'm going to do approximately 20 rounds of this. And this one, I'm actually going to do it a bit different. I'm going to do this one quite loose. And this is because I'm going to use it as leaves and I'm not going to cut the leaves. So I want them to be a little bit longer. But obviously, I just because I'm working on my fingers, I can't really make it longer in that way, but... With this simple technique i just do it quite loose so that they'll be quite fluffy at the end and quite long so this is what we're left with we're going to pull it off here and put it down one thing i would say if you're doing it with less yarn i can show you an example actually with less yarn so i'm using a different color string to tie it up but on this one where I made <laughs> attempted to make an orange but actually ended up making a bit of a carrot <laughs> I did use it's obviously orange but I used the green yarn if you can see inside there to tie it off and because I had to cut it quite close because I was shaping it trying to get it as long as possible sometimes if it kind of fluffs around a bit you can actually see that so if you're doing it a little bit, like with a little bit less yarn, it could be a good idea to use the same color to tie it off, just so that it's a little bit less obvious, but it doesn't matter too much. And this one, I'm just gonna, gonna use this one, but because I've used more yarn going around, it shouldn't be so obvious, but I'll show you just so you can see, compare for the difference. So I'm gonna tie it off really gently well, I guess not that gently. So nice, right in the middle. And then you tie it quite firmly, actually. And what I like to do, some people do double knots, but I find if I do a double knot at this point, it loosens up. So I'll usually go back around, halfway around. Oop, make sure it's right in the middle. And this is where I'm going to do the double knot. So, I'm 
nice and tight. nice and hold in. I'm going to cut this off but I'm going to leave whoop, a bit of string. <clears throat> so the reason I use this colour is because I thought it could be used as kind of the colour of the stem of the apple. So we're going to go through now and just cut through the middle and actually I want to make sure I avoid cutting the dark green like I said, they're going to be used as the leaves. Go from this side. carried away sometimes but you kind of want to make sure it's as centered as possible when you cut it otherwise your sides will be a little bit lopsided you might have one side that's quite long and one that's quite short so you do want to make sure you can kind of see actually what I've done here these sides are quite a bit longer than these ones it's all right because I'll cut them down anyway but oh something to be aware of okay and this is, uncut, what we're left with. Funky little apple to be shaped. To be shaped into an apple. 